Today is today, today is Friday, March 11th, 2022, and we're continuing to pray for peace around the world, especially in the Ukraine, Russia, Eurasia area. In Jesus name, come and let your presence fall in that region, fall in this region. Come and let your presence fall in that region and throughout the rest of the world. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, today is, uh, yeah, Friday. And I will read Je Jeremiah 41, and it's called Gedaliah Assassinated. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Now, it was in the 17th month that Ishmael, son of Nathaniah, son of Elishama, of royal descent and one of the chief officers of the king along with ten men came to Gedila son of Ahakem to Mizpah while they were eating bread together in Mizpah Ishmael son of Nathaniah rose up with the ten men that were with him and struck down Gedila son of Ahakem son of Shaphan, with a sword, putting to death the one whom the king of Babylon had appointed over the land. Ishmael also slew all the Jews who were with Gedaliah at Mizpah, as well as the Chaldean soldiers who were found there. Now it was the next day after he had slain Gedaliah, when no one knew about it, that eighty men came from Shechem, from Shiloh, and from Samaria, with their beards shaved off, their clothes rent, and having gashed themselves with grain offerings and frankincense in their hand to bring to the house of Adonai. So Ishmael, son of Nathaniah, went out from Mizpah to meet them, weeping all along as he went, and he came to meet them, he said to them, Come to Gedaliah, son of Ahakem. Yet it was that as soon as they came within of the city of that Ishmael, son of Nathaniah, and the men with him, slaughtered them within the cistern pit. However, ten men were found among them that said to Ishmael, Don't kill us! For we have hidden stores in the field, wheat, barley, oil, and honey. So he held off and did not kill them along with their companions. Now the cistern where Ishmael cast all the corpses of the men whom he killed, because they were on Gedaliah's side, was the one which King Asa had made for fear of King Bas of Israel, Ishmael son of Nathaniah filled it with the slain. Then Ishmael carried away captive all the rest of the people that were in Mizpah, including the king's daughters, all the people who were left in Mizpah over whom Nebuchadnezzar, the captain of the guard, had put under the siege of Gedaliah, son of Ahakem. Ishmael, son of Nathaniah, carried them away captive and set off to cross over to Ammon's children. But Johanan, son of Karia, and all the commanders of the forces that were with him, heard about all the evil that Ishmael, son of Nathaniah, had done. So they took all the men and went to fight with Ishmael, son of Nathaniah, and found him by the great pool in Gibeon. Now when all the people who were with Ishmael saw Johanan son of Kariah and all the commanders of the forces that were with him, they were glad. So all the people that Ishmael had carried away captive from Mizpah turned around and came back and went over to Johanan son of Kariah. But Ishmael son of Nathaniah escaped from Johanan with eight men and went to Ammon's children. Then Johanan son Okariah and all the commanders of the forces that were with him 
took all the remnant of the people whom he had rescued from Ishmael, son of Nathaniah from Mizpah, after he had murdered Gedaliah, son of Ahakim, the men, the soldiers, women, children, and court officials whom he had brought back from Gibeon. And they left and stayed at Shimham's lodge, which is near Bethlehem, in order to go on to enter Egypt, away from the Chaldeans, for they were afraid of them, since Ishmael, son of Nathaniah, had killed Gadala, son of Hakim, whom the king of Babylon had appointed over the land. And that's verse 18 of Jeremiah 41 of the Old Testament. Shalom. Salam. Malaikum salam. Salam